warning, some viewers may find this content disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. My creatures of the night, yes, this means it is once again midnight lycanthropy time here on Star Fox Radio. We are heading up to the northeast, yes, my neck of the woods, to help out a friend in need in the lonely state of Maine. Yeah, before we head out, I am very thirsty and I must go grab a beverage. Much better. I feel so replenished after a very long welcome slumber. <laughs> Without further ado, yes, we must venture into the darkness Alicia Sessions. It was late September. It was just when the light was starting to be dark before 8 p.m. in 2014. So we were going to Denny's to get some dinner. We we're going the back way to Auburn from uh, Hebron, Maine. And just as we got past the, uh, the Hebron Academy, that animal, it was standing right in the middle of the, the road, right on the center line. It looked really strange the way it was standing. To me, it kind of looked like it was hunched down, like squatting. And it was like a big black animal, about the size of a bear. Like it was a very big animal. It looked at us and it had these red glowing eyes. It had the pointy ears like a wolf. It looked like a wolf face. It had a long snout. It kind of looked like the look on its face is, you know, when a, a dog's like sleeping and they have that weird smile on their face. It did that. It had that weird smile and it sent shivers down my spine. We're sitting there. We had to come to a complete stop because this animal was not moving. He's just squatting in the center of the road on the yellow line. And he looked like my first thought when I saw him was like a werewolf. And I was like, no, I'm I'm crazy, it can't be. But he had, like, on his back, he was all black, had, like, these spiky hairs on his back. They were sticking up. Like, you know when a dog kind of gets frightened of something and their hair starts standing up? Well, that's kind of what it was, but the, the hairs were, like, longer and they were, like, kind of flowing a little bit. He looked at us and, like, let out this growl, like, a loud growl. We were able to hear it in the car over the music we were playing. And he just, like, looks at it over his shoulder and just goes off on the opposite direction across the road. And the way it was walking, you know when a baby starts crawling and they do that, like, army crawl where they use their arms and their legs, like, they're kind of squatting, but they're crawling? It was like that. It was just a weird way it was walking. It wasn't, like, a normal walk. It was kind of like it was crouched down. Maybe it was, like, trying to look like it a normal animal so it was crouching down trying to get on all fours to look like a normal normal animal but the legs were the front legs were longer than the back and the back legs seemed like they were kind of bent when they were walking like it was super strange and I looked over at the guy I was seeing and I was like did you see that I thought I was crazy for a second and he's like yep I saw that it 
was so chilling. And then I saw the post about the Turner Beast, like, a few months later after that. I mean, it kind of looks like what we saw, but the legs don't match out to what we saw. Like, the face shape, except for the snout. The snout was longer, um, and it was the same color. The tail was kind of like a bushy tail, like a wolf or something. But it was super strange seeing it, and, like, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And then I saw your group, and I was like, no way. Thank you for everyone who stopped by the Fox Den tonight for another episode of Midnight Lycanthropy here on Star Fox Radio. If you would like me to keep on churning out content, please like, subscribe, and share it. Feed the algorithm. And now I must return to a long slumber. I will see you on the next one.